up singing and so it's like um, I've always seen her singing but of course I still tear up when I see her sing yeah I can hold one note for my life <laughs> So my mom and my dad told me this really elaborate story of how like, oh, my dad loved music, my mom loved music, so then they had a child that just was able to sing, but I don't believe that. I think that it just happened. <laughs> we all love music, like, we have tons of CDs. Like, when I was coming to this country, I brought a big suitcase full of music. Yes, I did. Yeah, we all love music, but we just can't sing. So I guess Claudia is here to sing for us. <laughs> she sings in the house every day. You know, our neighbors, our neighbors all know Claudia sings. She goes to the bathroom? Yeah, she does. She does go to the bathroom with the speakers. Yeah, she has a little speaker that she moves around with. It. Yeah. yeah, I just love music. When it comes to jazz, Claudia is the one that introduced us to jazz. I'm trying to go to school for jazz voice, but I want to make new things, and I think that if I were to combine what I know from like all the genres I've learned so far, like so classical, jazz, R&B, other stuff, you know, like I think that'd be really cool. I'm my biggest critic. I think that I'm fine. I think I'm still learning. I always want to learn like something new. I need to always go on and try my best. A teacher once told me actually, when you perform, you're doing it for them. When someone's looking at you and they're listening to you and they're like crying or just like smiling so hard, like then that's really that you've succeeded. Like that's a good thing and that's what you want and like that's what I've always like loved.